We posted this short the other day and you guys commented, how does she do that? So we're here to show you today. So you think you can get my jumps like that? With the right amount of work, I can. All right, let's see. So what are we doing first? A lot of people think jumps are about flexibility, but it's actually a lot about strength. So we're starting our touches on the floor today. Okay, so we're gonna start in a straddle. You're gonna put your arms in a T and you're gonna lift your legs and try and get your knees as close to your shoulders as you can. The biggest reason we do this is because this is teaching your body how to hyperextend without having to be hyper flexible. Okay, so this is something that I could even do at home. How many do you recommend I do? I always think a good rule of thumb is to go in groups of five without touching your feet to the floor. And if you can't get your shoulders all the way to your knees, you wanna do basic stretches right down the center, not letting your toes or your knees fall forward. So it sounds like I'll be starting with basic stretches. And that's okay, everyone starts somewhere. Now that I've got that mastered, what's the next step? So the next step is to take it even further and we're gonna sit on the edge of something. This helps because now your feet have further to travel from the bottom of your jump all the way up to your straddle. Just like that. One thing that is super important about this drill is when you are lifting your toes off of the ground, you wanna make sure that we're not making a U with our feet. You wanna make sure your feet go straight to that V. Awesome, so this is something that I could do at the edge of my bed, on my couch, or like on a stair step, right? Absolutely. Okay, so what if I'm having trouble with jumping and I can't like really get off the ground very well? I got you. So in order to get off of the floor, you have to have the muscles to do that. So we're gonna build up that muscle. We're gonna start in a frog jump and you're gonna jump to a T jump. The most important part about that drill is making sure that you stay upright when you are jumping. If you jump with your hips first, well now your toe touches chest down and that's no fun. Perfect, that's something I can practice outside or even in my living room. That's actually a great idea, just be careful not to knock over the lamp. Okay, is that it? No, now we have to add the toe touch. From the frog jump? Yeah. Wow, I think I'm gonna have to work up to that one. Yeah, you probably should. Okay, so after putting all these drills together, like I feel like my confidence would be really good for my toe touch. Absolutely, drills and breakdown are so important when you're trying to learn how to jump or tumble. I can't wait for my jumps to improve. And subscribe!